settled at a 24% gain. It's mainly in the streets. When I get up in the freeway, I'm going to get a better gain. But on this one, I have a scan gauge 2 on it, and I was reading it as I was driving. One of the one of the odd things was as I'm driving, I'm looking at the miles to empty gauge, and, I, and I'm driving five miles, and it's increasing. It's telling me you've got further to travel, further to travel, further to travel. Another thing that I noticed, the other thing that I noticed when this first came on was I had gotten 110 percent, and then once the computer took over, started bringing it back down. It settled at about 24. Correct. Correct. Did, did you? Uh, did Our you average, correct? we're saying an average of somewhere between 20 to 50 percent. Are you working on correcting that uh, interference by the computer? On I have to get back to my research and develop and trying to get the website open. Seems to be pulling that channel a little bit more right now, but okay. very soon I'm going back to the research and development. I'm still. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't just. Yeah. 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 Overnight. And it's, it's stab overnight. stabilized now at the 24 percent increase. It's stable at 24. So okay. a couple of other gas saving techniques that I'm using, I will gain uh, a couple of, a couple of percent on each each one of the gains. Okay. And then when I put the electronics in there, it should be past 110. Okay. Uh, this was originally reading. Cool. Awesome. So with the you can conveniently fill the bottle with distilled water only. I love that. We've done a metal cap, brass fittings, we only use uh, uh, different types of uh, fuel lines when you get up near the motor compartment. We have isolation blocks, this is all metal. The uh, wires have been spun four times instead of twice. And then we go up to the next model and we've spun them even closer so that we'll produce more hydrogen. Then I thought about it and I went, well, let me make one for the truck. <laughs> so I made one like this. <laughs> that'll fit on the back firewall of wherever you have room on 18 wheelers. And you can run a six pack like this also. These can go six packs, but I usually recommend putting them in series of twos. Then somebody wanted a stainless steel model, so I made this one. And they work good, but all you can see is the water level. You can see how, how the water is getting dirty. So you have to know when to change it. So then, since I made a quart size, I made a, a half a quart size, and then I put it on my Harley there. It's right there on the front of the frame behind the front tire. Oh, it's your Harley. So this is on the bike. So that's the difference in these. This red one was for a lowrider uh, uh, car show. He wins first prize all the time. It's one of these cars that jump. So we put this in there, so red, when you put this in the sunlight, it has some little metal plate and stuff in here. So now he's doing promotions for me on his t-shirts, albums, because it's a band, Viera. The DVDs, the CDs, the t-shirts, the hats, the plaque when he goes to the shows, when he goes through the parades, he's doing the promotions for me, and I did a special deal with him. We actually put two of these in his car, this size, but with this type, of coloring to it. So this and this is the same. It's just different colors, specialized for this part. These are PCB enhancers, different styles for different size motors. But um, the blow-by that the automotive industry has decided to put back into your motor through the valve cover, the PCB valve, you put this in line in there, and you're capturing all the little fine particulate in here, and you're not sending it back to your into the motor to burn and then that's part of what makes your oil black. <laughs> then you take a bypass filter like this, which is your normal filter for your car. It's about that big. Okay, and that's what's filtering the oil to, to give lubrication and keep your motor right. It's junk. Take a bypass filter like this and this is your, your new filter to replace your old filter. And you can buy these like this. They come different sizes, different sizes. Then this is another fine particulate for the oil. So you take this in combination with this, and you put it into your used motor. Well, there's certain synthetic oils are changing your oils every 25,000 miles, instead of the 3,000, 2,000 miles that you're doing now. Um, and I believe that, I'm still to prove this, I'm not saying that it is, okay, but after about the third time you do your oil change, 
you're going to go to change your oil that third time and you're going to go, hey, it's still, it's still amber. And I'm going to send it out to the to the test facilities and ask them if there's still viscosity. They may never have to change my oil after that. Theory. Still got to prove it, but theory. So, my purpose here is to help with the planet on the environmental pollution. That's the main, my main thing that I'm doing here.